standard integral we are learn type 1 integral if integral of form 1 upon ax square plus bx plus c dx or integration of 1 upon root of ax square plus bx plus c dx then such a type of integral is called type 1 integral in this integral we are we can observe here numerator is a 1 and denominator is a quadratic polynomial as we uh, learn in standard integration denominator contain quadratic polynomial free of x then we can evaluate its integration by standard formula but here uh, the denominator is a quadratic polynomial in which term of x is a given uh, if term of x is a given in quadratic polynomial in denominator then such integral is a type 1 we have to solve by using these steps one we have first step is a make coefficient of x square equal to 1 so that this denominator contains the term of x square with coefficient 1 term of x and a constant as we know x plus a bracket square has an expansion x square plus 2ax plus a square okay this is a binomial terms and its expansion will is containing three terms in which x square is the first term x is the second term and a, a term of x is the second term and last term is a constant in square form as we observe here the first term is x square second term is x and third term is a constant square uh, which if uh, this constant square in this form a square then this expansion is perfect square of x plus a bracket square if x minus a is there then in expansion we get second term as a minus so this third uh, a square is a called third term which is a constant we have to adjust third term in a denominator as in denominator we have term of x square term of x and third term required third term is uh, if adjust there in denominator so we using radical functions formulae we can evaluate integrations now the example first see the first example integration of 1 upon x square minus 12x plus 16 as we can observe here the numerator is a 1 and denominator is a quadratic polynomial as term contain x square and term of x is a given so this integration can be solved by using type 1 integration steps so first we observe the coefficient of x square as in all these example coefficient of x square is a given and in last example it is a minus 1 it will be all right now we have to take second step now by using third term we can solve this example so we evaluate third term the formula of third term is a one half into coefficient of x bracket square here one half into coefficient of x is a minus 12 so minus 12 by 2 minus 6 square and remember square is always positive as 36 is our square third term so we can adjust in integration. So integration become one in numerator. In denominator, remember first term is a x square term of x square. Then second term is a term of x which is a minus 12x. And next the term which we evaluate is a 36. We have to adjust it. So I first take it in positive and to neglect it, I take in minus negative or minus 36 and already is a constant given which is a 61 now simplifying this we can observe here that in denominator three terms are first term is x square second term is a 12x plus 36 which are in form x square minus 2ax plus a square which is a expansion of x minus a bracket square if second term is a positive that is term of x is positive then this is the expansion of x plus a remember this so using this form we can evaluate the square uh, these th three terms in a perfect square as square root of first term that is x square square root is x second term sign which is here minus and again third term square root actually 36 as a square root 6 so this is the expansion of x minus 6 square now remaining are the constant by simplifying this minus 36 plus 61 we get plus 25 now this is adjustment using by third term adjustment we make a perfect square so that now this integral is in form of radical as you can observe here this is a x minus 6 is a term of x square which is in linear form and 25 is a constant so this is a square of variable and this is a constant square in addition which is a radical form first we make this constant in a 
square so 25 is the square of 5 now comparing this with any standard form which we have remember is uh, here in denominator there is addition so this form is a x square plus a square which has the integration 1 upon a tan inverse of x upon a plus c okay do you understand this now here in this example a is a 5 and x is a replaced by x minus 6 so integration of this uh, is 1 upon a that is 1 upon 5 tan inverse as there is addition x x is replaced by x minus 6 divided by a is a 5 plus c this is our answer okay now we move to next example in second example we have given i is equal to integration of root of x square plus 6x plus 8 now this is again a simple example as in this example also numerator is one denominator is a quadratic polynomial containing square root though it is a type 1 example so we have to solve this example adjacent third term as coefficient of x square is a 1 so we can calculate third term tt which is a 1 half into coefficient of x is 6 here bracket square actually 6 by 2 is a 3 3 square is a 9 so third term is a 9 now integration can be rewrite it by as i is equal to numerator is a 1 and denominator is in root root of first term is x square again second term is a 6x and next we adjust third term which is a 9 to cancel it we get minus 9 in denominator and plus 8 is our constant in denominator already so we simplify this again using the expansion as x square plus 2x plus a square is a expansion of x plus a square as we can compare this with uh, these three terms in denominator x is a square root of first term sine of second term is a plus remember in last example it was minus in this example x term has a coefficient x term is a positive so we put plus sign and third term square root actually 9 is a square of 3 so x plus 3 square is expansion of is a square perfect square of these three terms now minus 9 plus 8 is a 1 and uh, plus 1 sorry minus 1 and which is a square of 1 so this is a form uh, is 1 upon in root x square minus a square actually we know this integration as in root a square minus x square uh, it's in integration of sine inverse x upon a otherwise x square minus a square or x square plus a square are in integration of is a uh, log of mod of x plus denominator that is x square minus a square plus c so the integration of this is a log of mod of now x is a variable which is a replaced here by linear term x plus 3 so in integration we replace it by x plus 3 and plus denominator we can return as it is which is x plus 3 square minus 1 square mod complete plus c okay now we move to last example as integration is given 1 upon 4x minus x square as you can observe here this is our integral in which numerator is 1 and denominator is a quadratic polynomial containing term of x here the constant is not given actually if constant is not given then it will be 0 yes the constant is here in denominator is a 0 so remember necessary condition for type 1 is numerator is always 1 and denominator is a quadratic polynomial containing term of x the term of x must be there if term of x is not given remember in this example if 4x with a otherwise 4 minus x square is a given then this is a general standard form which is in form of 1 upon root of a square minus x square which has the integration sine inverse of x upon a plus c okay but we are given here term 4x in denominator and x square so this is a type 1 example in which square of x square coefficient of x square is a negative okay so using third term formula we can solve this by tt we know the formula 1 half into coefficient of x is a 4 bracket square actually 2 4 by 2 is a 2 2 square is a 4 
so third term is here 4 we can adjust this in integration i is equal to we adjust the third term in here in constant as the negative x square is a given we always adjust third term in a constant of denominator as there is a no constant it means it is a zero so we add zero plus four and to cancel plus four we take minus four and then terms are four x minus x square remember in expansion always the squares are positive in this in these three terms the first term x square which is a positive and third term a square is a positive so in expansion squares are are always positive using this expansion we can make perfect square here we compare with this as x square is a negative and minus 4 which is our third term uh, 4 is which uh, third term which is also negative so first we have to make these two squares positive so for, so for that we take minus sign common from these three terms so integration will become 1 of 1 now 0 plus 4 4 and by taking minus sign we get first always take term of x square which is a now plus x square then term of x which is now minus 4x and then constant which is a now plus 4 now compare with this compare with this as x square is a positive 4 is a positive that means in expansion squares are positive so this can convert into perfect square so the form we know how to convert in perfect square as 2 is a square and minus this is the square of as square root of x square is a x sine of second term is a minus and square of 4 is a uh, 4 is a square of 2 so x minus 2 bracket square now compare this with standard form as here radical is a and x is replaced by x minus 2 so we can compare this again 1 upon in root this is a constant square that is a square minus this is a variable square that is x square and this is the integration uh, integration of this is a sine inverse of x upon a plus c as we discussed earlier so example as a sine inverse of x is replaced here by x minus 2 divided by a radical is a 2 plus c